Welcome to this new video from the ASAR 3D website. We will see in this tutorial how to simulate writing a text and reproduce the example below. You are watching a tutorial video. Other types of videos are available on my site. First, let's look at what we need to create the scene. We are going to need a reference image, a plane that will serve as a canvas, a bezier curve and an object that will serve as a brush. We also need to indicate the path that the pen should follow. To do this we will use a constraint. Finally, we'll need to add dynamic paint modifiers to the pen and the plane. The first will serve as a brush, the second as a canvas. In this step, we will draw a mesh based on a reference image. We will then transform this mesh into a bezier curve so that we can use it as a path later. With Shift A, add a reference image. Change the parameters to be able to see the reference image transparently. Add a new plan and switch to edit mode. Then delete all vertices except one. Place the remaining vertice at the beginning of the word and start extruding the mesh. We have finished drawing our mesh. Now let's convert it to a curve. In object mode, first convert the mesh to a curve. In edit mode, transform this curve into a bezier curve and choose the automatic value for set handle type. Now we are going to add a plane and subdivide it several times. We will also add a subdivision modifier to further increase the precision of this mesh. The more the plane is subdivided, the better the quality of the writing will be during rendering. Add a new plane and resize it to cover the reference image. Now, with a right click, subdivide the plane 20 times. Add a subdivision modifier and increase the level's values to 4. Now we are going to add an object that will be used as a brush. Here you have to add any object. You can create one or import one as in this case. Make sure the origin of your mesh is positioned at the tip of the pen. Now we're going to link the pen to the bezier curve in order to force the pen to follow the curve. Before starting, add a rotation constraint on the z-axis. This will prevent the pen from moving in all directions during the animation. Select the pin in the curve. With the Ctrl P shortcut, assign the value follow path. The scene is now ready. We can add the modifier to tell Blender that the plane is the sheet of paper that will receive the writing. Select the object that represents the sheet of paper and add a dynamic pane modifier. Go to the Physic Properties tab and add a canvas. Increase the number of substeps so that the rendering is smooth.
add an input color and, very important, add an output color. We can add the modifier to tell Blender that the pen will write the text. Select your pen and add a dynamic paint modifier to it. In the Physic Properties tab, this time add a brush. Change, if you want, the output color defined previously in the other modifier. Right before we bake our scene, we still need to add a material to our canvas so that the writing is visible when rendered. Go back to the canvas modifier and copy the output paint map. Now go to the shading editor and add a material. With Shift A, add an attribute node. Paste the name of the paint map and link the node attribute to the node in the shader. You can now test the animation. To see the end result, we still need to bake the animation. This is what we are going to do now. To make the animation visible in the render, go to the Dynamic Paint Modifier Cache and click Bake. When the baking is done, you can start rendering and enjoy the result. Are you interested in other Blender videos? Do not hesitate to consult my channel or my website. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.